So with the announcement of the RTX 3090, 3080, and 3070, and all of them offering such incredible performance, many people may be wondering, which graphics card should I buy? Well, let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. Alright, so before we can figure out which graphics card is best for you, let's very quickly go over the specs and price of each one of these graphics cards so we can get a little bit more context. So starting out with the RTX 3090, since Nvidia has supposedly doubled the amount of FP32 cores available in each GPU SM, well now there's an incredible 10,496 CUDA cores running at 1.7 GHz and it has a huge amount of GDDR6X, in fact it has 24 GB of it and it's running at 350 50 watts power consumption and this bad boy comes in at a price of $1,500 so you better really need it. Next looking at the RTX 3080 this has a mammoth 8,704 CUDA cores running at a slightly higher 1.71 gigahertz boost clock. It has 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory and it has a 320 watt TGP and it comes in at a price of $700 so quite a bit more reasonable. And then finally we have the RTX 3070 which has 5,888 CUDA cores running at 1.73 gigahertz 8 gigabytes of regular GDDR6 memory and this has a TGP of 220 watts and the price is $500 so definitely the cheapest of the bunch. So with all those specs and prices out of the way we can obviously see that not only is there a huge difference in price going from the 3070 to the 3090 but there should also be a huge difference in performance so Figuring out which card you need is important so that you don't waste a bunch of money on performance that you either might not ever see or might not need. Now, if you are buying one of these three cards, obviously all three of them are very expensive, so you're probably someone who's using a 1080p super high refresh rate such as 240Hz or above monitor, a 1440p high refresh rate monitor, maybe an ultra wide, or 4K. So in order to figure out which graphics card you really need, we're going to go ahead and take the 2080 Ti as a baseline at 1440p and 4K results from the website TechSpot because those two resolutions are not only going to see the biggest improvement from getting a faster GPU, but they're also going to be more likely the type of resolutions that you'll be running with such high-end GPUs. Then we'll take the results of what the 3080 and 3090 are supposedly going to be and compare them to the 2080 Ti slash 3070 type of results to figure out which level of performance you really need. That way you're not overspending or getting a card that's not fast enough. So taking a look at those tech spot numbers, which are going to be based on a 13 game average, all running at ultra settings, looking at their 2080 Ti 1440p results, we can see that it gets 139 frames per second, and at 4K it gets 84 frames per second. Now if you compare that to the RTX 3070, it should get roughly the same frame rate, maybe plus or minus 5 or 10%. So right away we can answer, is the RTX 3070 enough for you? Well, if you play at 1440p and you play at ultra settings and you want to get roughly 144 frames per second, well, the 3070 should, in theory, get the job done. Now, it only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM, which is disappointing in 2020, moving into 2021. However, for most games, 8 gigabytes should be enough. Now, moving on to 4K, here's where the 8 gigabyte 3070 might just not cut it, because not only is that 8 gigabytes gonna maybe not be enough to run ultra settings on some of these games coming up, but on top of that, you're getting 84 frames per second, so if you're playing on a 4K monitor that's 60 hertz, definitely is going to be good enough. However, if you're playing on a 4K monitor that's 144 hertz, you might want to start looking at a 3080 or 3090. Now talking about the 3080, what we can expect to see in terms of performance out of this GPU, according to all the information we have from both Nvidia and Digital Foundry, the results that they saw, well, yes, it is going to be showing those cards somewhat in the best light, but I would expect, according to all that information, that we would see the 3080 being roughly 40% faster than the RTX 2080 Ti or 3070. Again, it might be a little bit slower, a little bit faster, but roughly probably 40%. So all we have to do is take those 2080 Ti slash 3070 numbers, times them by 1.4 and you get at 1440p ultra settings, 195 frames per second and at 4k 118 frames per second and this card being 10 gigabytes that vram is 
a lot less of a concern. There may be some scenarios where that 10 gigabytes just isn't quite enough, but I would expect to see in 90% or more of games that the 10 gigabytes will be enough. And of course, these GPUs have higher bandwidth as well, so that can help if you have maybe not quite enough VRAM, but it never is going to replace more VRAM. So anyway, looking at the 1440p results, again, 195 frames per second is really, really high. So for a 1440p 144Hz monitor, this is pretty much overkill. And at 4K, you're starting to look at a card that if you change your settings from ultra to maybe high, you're moving into 144Hz territory. So this card not only is more than enough for 1440p high refresh rate, and you could even move into ultra wide high refresh rate, but with a little bit of settings being tweaked, you could probably run a modern 4K 144Hz panel, which is really exciting because $700, while expensive, is a lot cheaper than the 2080 Ti that it's replacing and beating. Now, if that's not gonna cut it for you, of course we have the outrageously expensive RTX 3090, whether you need the extra VRAM or you just absolutely must have every last frame you need. Here we can see that this card will probably be at least 15% faster, maybe even 20% faster than the RTX 3080. So if we take that into account at 1440p, you will probably see somewhere around 224 frames per second on average. Again, all of these results are if you're not CPU or RAM bottlenecked, it's just scaling perfectly. And at 4K, you'll see roughly around 136 frames per second on ultra settings for an average. So this card, 4K 144 hertz, it'll definitely do even on ultra settings. And you know that 24 gigabytes of VRAM is definitely gonna help there because not only is your resolution high, but newer games coming out that are demanding more VRAM, this will absolutely do it. So, you know, again, if you have a 4K 144 hertz panel and you're not willing to reduce settings and you absolutely must have the best eye candy and money isn't an issue for you, then yeah, the 3090 is for you, or you have an ultra wide, uh, super high refresh rate monitor, something like that. But if you're playing a ju with a, just a 1440p 144 hertz monitor, this card is so overkill and it's so expensive that I would just say, don't waste your money. And you know, overall, if I was gonna give my opinion, I would say that the RTX 3080 should be more than enough for most people who are using high resolution, high frame rate monitors. And you know, the 3070 should even be enough for a lot of those people. And definitely more than enough for those people who are on 1080p high refresh rate monitors and the 3090 is just for it's just like way out there in terms of price and if you absolutely must have the ultra settings sure you can go for it but in my opinion the extra $800 or more than twice the price of the RTX 3080 is not worth just having the ability to turn your settings from high to ultra. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think? Is the RTX 3070 going to be enough for you, the 3080, or are you going to need the 3090? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.